Hey, what's happening out there, everybody? My name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In today's tutorial, I want to talk about the difference between React Bootstrap, which you can find at reactbootstrap.github.io, and the classic or vanilla version, which is getbootstrap.com. Now, the vanilla terminology is not mine. In fact, if you see, if you go into the React Bootstrap and getting started, they even call it vanilla bootstrap. So I want to talk about the differences between the classic vanilla and the React bootstrap coming up. And with that, let's get started. All right, welcome back. So I have two examples in this index.js. I am running a Gatsby JS. In previous videos, I do have examples of the template that I use that include the React Bootstrap implementation already into Gatsby, and this is just your generic React framework. I also have a classic or a basic index.html, and I use the links provided to me by the classic vanilla bootstrap, and I said, this is a title, and in my div container down below, this is the vanilla bootstrap. In my index.js, I have container h1. And if we see the differences, this is vanilla bootstrap and this is React bootstrap. Now there's not really any difference because the underlying engine that powers both is the same. It's more just how we write the code when it comes to React Bootstrap. So in React, we're not saying div class container. So if we look back at the classic mode, we can see that it's div class container. And I just put an H1 in just so we can see it work. And of course the default sizing of the type here matches the type here. However, I didn't write the same code because in React or JSX, I had to define the container above by saying container React Bootstrap. That container, if we go and actually look at the code, where I'm looking for the right keystroke, inside, it's still just div class container. So there isn't really a lot of differences aside from how you write it inside the JSX. I could still say div class name because it's not class any longer in JSX and I can say container. And I have to change that word to div. Now if I save it, when it rebuilds, of course it's gonna warn me because I haven't used the container. So let's close that down and now we're good to go. And if we refresh, we should see that the code looks just like it is on the left-hand side. Now here's the part that is great about React Bootstrap. You notice that I used the classic writing. So if I go into index and you see div class container, the only thing I adjusted for JSX was class to class name, but I still use the word container. Because Bootstrap is built the same way inherently, from the classic to the React, I can use classic components. Now here's the great part about this. If I go into index, <laughs> to index I'm getting confused all of a sudden. If I go into the index JS, let me go back and just put the word container. Here's the cool part. I can write a JSX or a React expression or a React tag <laughs> my words this morning, a container and say, you know what? This container, I can say class name and add something vanilla here. Oops, if I don't hit the return key, is I can now add a classic vanilla class, that's a lot of words to say in one sentence, inside of JSX. So here's the great part. Let's say I want to make the H1 centered. So if we do a Google search and say, I'm looking to center type bootstrap. And hopefully, <laughs> I thought this would come up, but it didn't. Anyways, uh, I do know that if you search for dice spell bootstrap, so much for a great Google search. 
That didn't work. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, looking for the text of Bootstrap. Now notice how it came up in the classic vanilla version of getbootstrap.com. So the great part about this is notice there's text left, text center, text right, text small left, text mid, uh, m middle, uh, medium left, and text large left. Here's the great part. I can utilize the vanilla versions. So let me take out, actually I already did take it out. If I say h1 class name and say text center, check this out. Now the text centers. So I can utilize elements of the vanilla inside of my React project. In this case, I'm using Gatsby. That's great because I can then import it once and utilize both structures, both the React and the vanilla version. So any part you see inside of the classic vanilla, so if I'm looking for spacing, for example, and they have a lot of these options in here, notice how you can combine the words. So if I said, okay, I want more margin on the top, so I want margin top, which is M for margin, T for top, and I'm gonna go big. I wanna go right into five. So what I can do is I can utilize the classic get bootstrap and apply it into my Gatsby React project. So what I can do is I can say M T dash five, space it out, and when I save it, if I come over here to my Gatsby, starter template that notice now I have spacing on the top. Now this is not inside of the React Bootstrap area. There's no way to write the way that I just did because it's just a simple class name. And so for specific changes that you wanna write that are beyond the generic container, grids, rows, then you have to rely on the class name. And all we have to do is apply the same framework where did it go? Inside the class names. So where it says class, I'm just gonna write class name. And that's how I can combine both the React and the vanilla version of Bootstrap. Ready to continue becoming a better web designer through code? Check out more of my videos through my channel, A Designer Who Codes. Thanks so much for watching.